Hey everyone, so I'm back. I'm making uh, more tutorials for you guys and I'm really sorry that I've been away but I've just had a crazy, crazy couple of months. Uh, I've been doing loads of projects, I've been working on Java MP3 if you remember it. Um, I'm launching it again soon, I will post a video about that later on but uh, I'm back and I'm making more tutorials. Okay, so the first tutorial uh, that I'm doing now is a CSS introduction. We've talked about CSS in the past and we've gone through some tutorials but I'm really, I'm going to get you uh, back to basics and we're going to be working up on uh, CSS and we're going to be really focusing on it. Now what is CSS and what can it do for you? Okay well number one, CSS is, it stands for Cascade Style Sheets. It's a really really simple, quick and effective way of styling uh, HTML elements. CSS on its own can't really do a lot. Obviously with HTML it can really style your page and your website designs nicely. It can eliminate so many uh, random pointless elements, for example, font, the font element. Now you can either implement CSS uh, internally into the HTML web page or you can have external CSS. There are different advantages and disadvantages to each one, but this, uh, in these tutorials I'm going to be showing you how to do it externally because for website developers who've got lots and lots of different elements that they want to style, external is a lot easier. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up Notepad. I'm just going to shift it into the center of the screen and I'm going to quickly resize it. Right, so now that we've got Notepad opened up, we're going to create some simple HTML. So obviously, we've got to start with the HTML tag, uh, followed by the head, title, and you can put whatever you want in here. So this page includes CSS styling. Um, close the title tag, and now here is where we do something a bit different. We do link, um, and this is to connect the uh, CSS page. So link rel equals um, style sheet. Um, and then we do href equals, and this is the, the title, so style.css, this is, um, that's, that's what it is. And then we're going to close the head, and we are going to now open the body, of course. Now inside the body we're going to do something a bit different, we're going to add div tags. So we're going to do div class equals, now for this I'm going to call this the uh, header, so type in header, um, and then in here I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the div tag, and then in between the two div tags I'm going to put what I want for the header. So this is where the header text. Uh, this is where the header text is styled. There we go. And now we're going to open up a new div div class. Um, and again, you can call these whatever you want. It doesn't have to be header or main, but I'm going to call these header and main for for this. So this is the main text uh, with CSS styling. Um, and then again, close the div class. And finally, I'm going to add one last one, and as, you, as I said, you can add as many as you want, and you can call them anything, but I'm going to call these header, main, and footer. So I've, I've made the footer one, I'm going to enter the text, so this is the footer, and for this I'm going to add a copyright symbol in front of it, um, and to do this you do and copy um, and 2011, yeah, and you can do whatever you want, but that's just to add the copyright symbol, because that often appears on the footer. And then again, close the footer on the div, and then close the body and then close the uh, HTML. So there we go, we've got our simple uh, HTML page sorted out. Press File, Save As, we're going to save it to the desktop, and we are going to save it as, uh, we're going to just title this one, index.html. Again, you can call it whatever you want, you want, but remember to have .html at the end of it. So now we've got this, we're going to open this up in uh, Google Chrome, which is the default one for an HTML file. Um, it's going to open up Google Chrome, uh, we're going to double click on it and I'm just going to show you. So there we go, fairly basic, it's got the title, the three bits of code and obviously they're, fa they're all sim the same and you know there's no styling there, it's just basic Times New Roman and it's fairly dull. So now it's time to open a new notepad document and again I'm going to resize this and this is where the CSS styling uh, comes into play. We're going to, to do this we're going to start with the body tag. Now CSS styles the elements, so obviously we've got the body element in there. Now usually you can do enter and then shift or you can just enter it there. You can do whatever is easiest for you as long as it's in those tags. Um, different people have different ways of formatting it. So I'm just going to do it in there, simple um, and easy and effective. So everything I put in here will format the whole page. So I'm going to do font-family colon equals Arial, um, close brackets. I'm going to save this to the desktop again, it must be to the desktop where the HTML file is, and I'm going to save this as as, uh, as style.css, which is what I called it earlier um, in the link ref, if you remember. And as you can see, it will default open with Dreamweaver. Um, so that's done. So we're going to open up index quickly, and as you can see, it's already changed the font 
to Arial. So everything inside the body is going to uh, everything inside the body is formatted to an Arial text. And as you can see, body is the whole thing. So everything in here will format everything on the web page, or the web page is connected to the CSS. Um, style sheet. So again we can we can add whatever we want in here. So we're going to add another thing now, we're going to do font size and we are going to change this to 24 pixels. Now obviously that's quite big, we're going to press file save, open it up in Google Chrome again and as you can see the font size has enlarged. Everything inside the body has enlarged with the font size. Um, and you can do literally, you can format a whole body right in here. And I'm going to now add a color. So the color I'm going to make it is a light gray. So 999999, file, save. And if I go and refresh, there you go, the font has turned a light gray. OK, so moving on, it's time to style the uh, each div individually. Now, you remember the first one I called was header. Now, if you've got custom ones uh, in the div, custom classes like header, the first thing you want to do is you want to put a dot there. And then this signifies to the CSS that it's not a standard, uh, it's not a standard tag in HTML, and then uh, and that's fine. So dot, and then for this case it's header. And again, uh, I'm now I'm going to do font weight bold, and I'm going to do text decoration and underline. And I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to press file, save, and only the header should have. Uh, as I refresh it, there you go. The header is now bold and it's underlined. We can add as much formatting into this as we want and it will only change everything between the divs that are on the header. So we're going to change the colour now, we're going to change it to 00FFAA, um, I've got no idea what that colour is, but file save, press refresh, and there we go, it's a nice aqua colour, that was a good guess. Um, and you can all, you can, you know, you can format any of these in any way you want. So we're going to keep formatting now, so we're going to do text, uh, oh, we're going to close that one first, I forgot to do that. Now we're going to do, um, you can literally, you can add pretty much anything, I'm sure you can find lists on Google of different formatting you can do. So text align, text dash align equals center, file save, refresh, and ta-da, the uh, text has gone into the center of the page. Now you'll notice in between uh, the text, there is no gap really, it goes straight from the header um, to the main. So you can, you, we, can, we can change this now, uh, again in CSS, this is how powerful the CSS formatting is. Um, we are going to now add uh, padding dash bottom, so the padding underneath of uh, the header text, to 20px. Press file, save, refresh, and as you can see there is now spacing, there's padding of 20 pixels below the header. Um, which is, really, which is really good, and as I said it's really powerful. So now we're going to go on to format the main. Again, open this up. We're going to start by um, doing the font size. We're going to change the font size a bit now on this unique, uh, unique tag. We're going to change it to 14 pixels, and the color we're going to do is a dark, a dark gray. So uh, three, 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 three. And again, text align center. File uh, save, and we're going to go back to Google Chrome. Refresh, and as you can see, it's in the center, and it's 14 pixels, and it's a dark gray, almost a black. Um, now to finally format the uh, footer, again enter and uh, footer, we're going to do the font size even smaller on this one because obviously the footers are usually small, so 10 pixels and a colour, we're going to do uh, again gr a, a dark grey, so six threes, and then text align once again, centre. And we're now going to do uh, some, some padding again, so padding bottom, and we're going to add 50 pixels of padding here, so 50px, and then file, save press refresh and as you see the footer has now appeared with 50 pixels of padding beneath, beneath the main and that is really an introduction into CSS that's how to start CSS styling more video tutorials coming up soon on how to really format your web pages and your website designs with CSS thanks for watching guys as ever don't forget to rate comment favorite and of course subscribe bye for now